The agreement was a result of the 12th meeting of ASEAN tourism ministers held in Hanoi early January. The Thai Ministry of Tourism and Sports reported to the Thai cabinet meeting last Wednesday. The cabinet acknowledged the agreement and agreed to add the ASEAN leaders' declaration in the 14th ASEAN summit to be held in Prachuap Kirikan next month. The meeting promotes youth traveling in ASEAN and to announce Youth Travelers' Year 2009 to 2010. The Thai Ministry of Tourism and Sports implement two projects in support of youth. They are ASEAN Tourism Youth Ambassadors, whose group visited Phuket during January 15th through the 24th, and the ASEAN Youth Football Cup in June. As for the support of an ASEAN Tourism Connectivity Corridor, the Ministry initiates an ASEAN Family Car Rally in March in the southern city of Songkhla and northern province of Pitsanalok. The Phuket International Airport explains its study for airport expansion for enhancing capacity to accommodate up to 12 million passengers. The Phuket Airport on Thursday arranged a meeting to report about a feasibility study and environmental impact survey for its altered detail of a project development. The session took place at Talong District Office. The airport manager, Wicha Nunlop, explained that the development plan aims at enhancing the airport capacity to accommodate increasing numbers of flights, passengers, and cargoes. He said the organization plans to spend one billion baht investment on the expansion, which includes runway and parking, an international terminal, fuel refill system, an office building, fire station, and cargo building. Mr. Wicha said the Southeast Asia technology firm has been contracted to carry out the EIA, or Environmental Impact Assessment, which will arrange a hearing session with related agencies to add their input in the study. Mr. Wicha voiced his concerns on wastewater and noise. The project's design is now 50% in progress. It will combine the local style of architecture to coincide with the resort island. The Minister of Transport, Mr. Sopon Zarum, said the ministry recognizes Phuket's great potential for tourism and that the new development would enhance the Phuket International Airport to handle 12.5 million passengers per year until 2017. The ministry is also carrying out a study on expansion of a road connecting the airport with the main road of Tepkasatri to facilitate traffic from and to the airport. Spa operators in Phuket offer special packages to attract honeymooners to celebrate Valentine's Day in Phuket. In an attempt to attract visitors to the resort island of Phuket, local spa operators join hands with the Tourism Authority of Thailand to offer packages for honeymooners. The manager of Suko Spa in Chalang, Alan Korn Kumon Jutchinan, said the spa is arranging packages for eight couples of honeymooners to use the spa services for three days and two nights. Mr. Alan Korn said this is a marketing plan to offer alternatives to tourists, especially in main markets like Russia and Italy. Being one of the most popular spas in Phuket, the spa calls itself the world's first cultural spa with unique Thai cultural services. It has also been awarded Outstanding Performance Day Spa by the Thailand Tourism Awards in 2008. On the other hand, the Phuket governor orders officials to impose strict measures for entertainment places, especially the closure times. The Phuket Governor Preacher Rungjan ordered his officials and provincial police to impose strict law enforcement on pubs, bars, or entertainment places to make sure that they do not violate the law, particularly for the closing time. Mr. Preacher announced during a security meeting session that he would rotate to inspect entertainment venues himself, and if any of them are found to stay open after the local closing time of 2 a.m., Officials from the district chief downwards must take responsibility for negligence of duty. The governor also told his officials that they must not get involved in law violations. He stressed that they check bars and hotels to make sure that no other violations are practiced. This includes allowing minors to get in, narcotic drugs, or harassment to foreign clients. During the meeting, the governor asked police to keep eyes on theft gangs who drug tourists and take away their belongings. He said he received complaints from tourists and foreign diplomats. 
a foreign affairs center is to be set up in Phuket. Space within the Phuket Provincial Hall will be dedicated to be a center for foreign affairs established by the Department of Consular Affairs under the Thai Ministry of Foreign Affairs. On Friday, the department's director, General Tiraconium, made a site visit to prepare for the setup to make sure that the new establishment can fully provide foreign affairs services efficiently. Mr. Tirakun said he expects the center to be a center of information for foreign tourists and to assist foreign tourists. It needs good standard facilities and personnel. He expects the establishment to be ready within three months' time. Turning now to Krabi, where the airport there recorded 24% less passengers in 2008, including an alarming 50% down in December 2008 alone. Krabi International Airport, under the Civil Aviation Department, have just revealed its 2008 full-year figures, with a total of 4,739 aircraft movements, or 44.5% less compared to 2007, mainly due to bigger charter aircrafts. The total numbers of passengers arriving and departing with no transits was 649,103, also showing a decrease of 24.13% compared to the same 12 months in 2007. The decrease was partly due to the airport closure in August and Bangkok airport closures in late November, both during protests against the government then and also the global financial slowdown. The effects continued in December when there was only 43,292 passengers down an alarming 49.86%. However, on the plus side, the total freight showed 1,246,025 kilograms in and out, an 8.94% increase over 2007. And finally, in local news, International tourist arrivals worldwide recorded a 2% rise last year, but showed a decline in the latter half. The UN World Tourism Organization, or WTO, informed Anime News that in 2008, international tourist arrivals worldwide reached 924 million, up 16 million over 2007, representing a growth of 2%. But tourism demand slowed significantly through the year under the influence of an extremely volatile world economy. The second half of 2008 saw growth come to a standstill, with the number of international arrivals declining slightly, a trend which is expected to continue in 2009. Overall, the 5% growth between January and June gave way to a 1% decline in the second half of the year. Though certainly not immune to the economic woes, Tourism has initially resisted the economic downturn better than other economic sectors, such as construction, real estate, or car manufacturing. Growth was negative in the last six months of 2008 in both Europe, which was negative 3%, and Asia, negative 3%. The drop is even more significant in Asia, given its double-digit growth in 2007, and strong showing in the first part of 2008, which was plus 6% according to UNWTO figures.